what's up guys thanks for uh, coming back and checking out my channel for uh, another video here uh, today we're not going to be uh, doing any fishing on this video but we're going to do some boat maintenance work on on our javelin boat here uh, I just bought this boat not too long ago I ain't even had it out on the water yet because uh, it needed a few things done to it. Still needs some stuff done to it. Uh, today, hopefully get them lined out. Maybe on the next video, we'll be out on this boat and y'all get to see, see me ride it and drive it for the first time. Uh, I've had boats before. Uh, this one's got the hot foot on it. Uh, I'll show it to you here real quick. So you probably know what a hot foot is. Uh, I ain't never used a hot foot, but right here it is. All right. I ain't never had a hot foot on a on a boat. Uh, we'll see how that works out. This is a 1993 Javelin. I'll show it to you here. It's a 379T. Uh, the work I'm gonna be doing on it, or the maintenance, is uh, these wires here. They got them all messed up. Uh, I'm gonna try to get them lined out a little bit better where they won't break off. Uh, I need to do some work on this later on. Uh, this here is, uh, I guess it's homemade kind of deal. The Javelins did have this kind of setup, but they were more straight than uh, what this is. Uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting when we get out on the water to see how I get it to load, load back up because it's supposed to have a spring from here to here. And on the original javelins, it, it tilted way back like this. As you can see, there's not much room between my boat and the truck. Uh, we'll do that. Hopefully get it lined out. Uh, got some stickers on it I like to get off. You know, stickers make it go faster. Uh, Kentucky Bass Federation. All that good stuff. But this is an older boat. It's got a 93 javelin. or It's a 93 javelin with a 93 Evan Rood Intruder 150 on it. Uh, it runs good, uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good boat for me. I didn't give very much for it, uh, but it's a lot bigger boat than what I'm used to. Hopefully it'll be a lot better boat uh, for me and my, my dad to get out and fish on, me and my wife, kid. Uh, but you can see it's the, the boat's pretty far up on the trailer. Uh, it's supposed to be back a little bit further, I believe, than what it is now. But we'll hopefully get that lined out and uh, maybe take things out on for a ride. But we'll get into it, uh, start working on it here, try to get those wires lined out. Uh, a few other things, it's it's got some fading here that I might try to polish out. You can see it's a different color from here to here. I don't know what, what they've actually done to it here, but uh, we'll try to get that. Y'all probably wonder what's under the, under the uh, car cover here. It may like I make a guess on it before I unveil it. It's a it's a rough old car. I'll give you a little, just a little peek here underneath of what it is. Just this piece is all I'm gonna give you. Oh uh, yeah. Hopefully gonna get that fixed up for my dad. It's what he and my mom got married in in 1976 but that's not a 76 y'all probably don't even know what that is some of y'all might you can see the old truck there uh, we do old trucks cars stuff like that you might get some uh, video of it uh, some of the old cars i have i don't know yet uh, we might do something like that if y'all want to uh, but we'll get started on this boat and see what we can do to it
All right, I got the wire connectors on it here. I'm gonna put some wire loom on the on the wires to make it look a little better. Uh, my dad suggested to take these loops and put these on here, but these were smaller, so I couldn't put the double wire here into the smaller end. Uh, that's why I left it like that for now. Uh, later on, we'll probably run all new wire on this boat trailer to make it look a little better. Maybe put some LED lights on the back of it. But for now, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to put some wire loom on it to make it look a little bit better, and we'll get back at you. I got it all wired up uh, with the loom on it here. I got the end. Now I just got to figure out uh, which is the best way to run it where it won't won't pull out of the trailer. But other than that, we'll go to the back and try to work on some of the tail lights. All right, just uh, done some maintenance here. Put some oil, two cycle oil in my oil box here for my oiler on my motor get it lined out and I need to do a lot of cleaning in here to get this lined out uh, but what we're going to work on now is this uh, this light here this trailer light all right got the lights wired up they're kind of dim you can see them there rocky my dad's dog but uh, we're gonna throw the chargers on it. Hopefully charge up the uh, trailer motor battery and uh, the starting battery. Maybe take it out on the lake tomorrow for the first time. But we'll see, and if I do, you'll see that video of us fishing. And that'll probably be uploaded if we do next Friday or this Friday coming. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this one tonight. I get the boat specs up our some of the boat stuff up here that we're doing. I still gotta clean some of the boat up here and there. Uh, that'll be later on, hopefully maybe this winter when it's stored. Then we'll be doing some bank fishing there, but uh, until then, we'll see you on the next video. If you like this little short video I've done here, uh, it's not a very long video, uh, two or three minutes maybe. Uh, like my channel, subscribe if you want. Uh, we'll do some more fishing videos. Uh, throwing jigs, crankbaits, just whatever we can throw. We'll go to the river down here in Rock Castle, uh, maybe up to the Kentucky River. Uh, who knows where we'll be ended up uh, fishing at. But uh, for now, there's the boat, and we'll see you next time.